Give me your bag. What? Your bag. It's a baguette. Let me have it. I couldn't believe it. 15 years in New York, and just when the city was getting safe, I was getting mugged. All right, welcome back. So, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I wanted to, I just want to get this out of the way because um, I was going to originally just do like a, a proper fashion video today, like styling and stuff like that. But I thought, sod it, I got to get this, I got to get the elephant out of the room. And I know that I briefly showed it in the vlog from Paris, but I wanted to do a review on the Fendi sequined baguette the one that I talked about for so long. So this is what this video is. It is a review on it, my first impressions of it, of using it, just what I think. Um, and then I promise I'll get back to all the kind of like more styly type of videos afterwards. As you know, I've been wanting this bag for over 10 years. Um, I saw it as a lot of us did from Sex and the Sea. Carrie was carrying it, loved it, fell in love with it, never stopped loving it. Uh, how many kind of times can you say love in the space of one minute? And uh, my friend Tess has this bag. She has the original one. And I have always loved that bag. As I've said to you in past episodes, I've always like said to her, well, I stopped now, but I was originally like, I think once a year or every once every two years, I was saying to her, you know, if you ever don't like that bag anymore, if you ever think of selling it, and she's always been like, a hard no. And I don't blame her because I would feel exactly the same. Fast forward years and years later and finally thanks to michael i finally managed to get my hand on the bag and it is right here wow and it is as gorgeous as i imagined it would be and i will say to you that i will compare it as well to the original vintage size i don't have the original sequin version but i do have original um fendi baguettes old school vintage ones pre-loved obviously and I'm going to show you what the sizing is like, just so you know how it compares. Also, I'm going to show you something that's in here that might surprise you. It will surprise some of you. In fact, it will surprise everybody. <laughs> but it's something that I didn't think I was going to have with this bag as well. But I have both of them. So it's just it's just turned out that way from just from pure timing. Now. You know that I've wanted the baguette book. Michael got me the baguette book for my August um, birthday, which was great. I am a Virgo. Hello, Virgos out there. And now he followed up by surprising me in Paris and managing to get this for me. And it is absolutely stunning. I'll come in so you can see a bit closer. Um, I have some stuff in it right now. And that's why it's kind of quite full. But it does kind of slouch. See that right there? And I love that. The way it kind of just slouches a little bit. I think that's what gives it that character because I don't like perfection too much depending on what the bag is. On this one, I like when it has a bit of a slouch to it. I think that's what makes it really cool. And the color of it is stunning. It's a little bit, this is the color. As I'm standing back here, this is what it really looks like. It's um, a deep jewel purple color, but in person there are blue, I can see it. There's actually blue dark navy undertones mixed in with the purple and that's what gives it the depth that it has. It's, it's spectacular, it's the best word I can describe for it. Gold hardware and it has little um, glitter or sparkles or little bits in it right there. <laughs> I don't know how you describe those, you can see them right there. Absolutely amazing and I don't worry about using it. Um, I've hit the ground running using this bag too and that's a good sign of what I think as far as like do I think it's something that you would never use. This is not how I am. I'm not that kind of girl where I just feel like it's too special to use. Bags are there to be used, period, end of story. If you're not using it, that to me is a sign that something's wrong, at least in my wardrobe it is. So um, it has a short strap, the signature short Fendi strap, and it is attached with the hardware on both sides of it. Um, and it also has a longer strap wide strap and that is a major difference which didn't exist at all with the original Fendi bags at all and this is it here it's a plain just wide strap and you know you can just attach it I'll just quickly show you just attach it to the outside rings and you can see how it looks so that's it with the strap on it makes it very um 
simple and easy to wear. For the first time ever, a Fendi baguette can be worn crossbody or on the shoulder. And when it's crossbody, it is, I'm five foot seven, and this is, my light switch is very small, and this is how it is on me. It's, it's quite high, but I actually like it that way, versus if it's sat like at my hip. I like bags, crossbody bags, to kind of sit like that. Like a true kind of messenger. I look so cool with this jacket with the gray works so well anyway so yeah oh, i love this which leads me to my other point how versatile it is in my wardrobe so this is oh, this is a look that's a look isn't it just like that i love oh, it's such a, damn it okay i have to make a mental note to shoot this but this is just one way that i think it looks really cool as well in my opinion and yeah or you can just have it like slung behind your back and just walking down the street so it's like this, business at the front, and then you're walking away, and it's party, party at the back. And obviously you can wear it on your shoulder as well. Um, I haven't really worn it this way, and that is not the intention of how I would wear it, although it does look kind of cute, I'm looking at the monitor this way as well, if you want. So I like how they've just increased the versatility of it just by adding that simple strap. But my best, honestly, way to wear it is handheld, or I'll just hold it in the bend of my arm like that. I'll just be like on my phone or just holding a drink or whatever. I'll just be like this, crossing my arms, walking down the street and the bag is just like this. That is my favorite way to wear it because it feels like it's an homage to how it originally was designed. But I love that freedom and the flexibility as well with the strap, makes it great, right? What else can I say about it except that uh, it was, an unu it was such a cool moment to just have that unboxing experience at the store and I'll insert that for you now so you can see and just to have um, the essay just unbox it was just great so I'll show it to you right now. We left the protection on it. And here is Holy crap. the new baby. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> It's amazing. I like that it has the two size uh, straps as well. Oh, the, the longer one? Yeah. yeah, me too. That's new for Fendi, I think, for the baguette. Before, the old one was just a short. That's correct. Yeah, so that was really nice. And he said to me that, and I'm not sure, but he said there's only 50 being made. And I'm not sure if he meant 50 in the world or 50 in France. I'll compare it now to the original which is the original baguette and i have two by the way i have let me put this down i have the canvas and i also have this vintage beaded one and you can tell this one is a little bit fatter um, but there's nothing in this. This has stuffing in it. This has absolutely nothing in it. So it's really like flat, obviously. But you can see that they both have the buckle to, um, you know, well, this one is fixing. <laughs> they both have a buckle on the side there and on this one as well. It has the buckle, which you can completely take this off. And also the buckle is adjustable here. So you can, it's got extra holes. So you can make this little handle a little bit shorter or longer if you want. This one is fixed and it's different hardware. It's no longer a buckle, buckle anymore. And it's just that one length. But I think the length they gave is actually quite comparable to the original when it's on its first hole. So it looks really, really good. And the only difference is, like I said, is this, the hardware on the side with this one, the strap, and then with this one. It's more or less the same size in terms of the body of the bag but this one is definitely larger so just in terms of the length of it they're almost comparably the same let me just check no this the vintage one is actually shorter it's actually a little bit smaller on either side now if you can see but it is it's probably not coming across very well on camera but it's actually slightly, this one is slightly shorter on both sides than this is. And this is like, this is definitely slightly bigger. And also the depth of this bag is definitely much bigger. So it can hold a lot more. Again, this doesn't have anything in it, but even when it does, the maximum it goes is, is not enough. 
it's like right there it's the max but the maximum on this one is like gigantic so it's, it's a much larger capacity bag so it makes it a lot more makes it a lot more functional but it's still small ah, it's still small at the same time i can't believe i'm doing a review of this fendi baguette bag i this is the most the longest wait i've ever had for any bag ever actually anything in my wardrobe there is nothing that i've waited and longed for more than this hands down now so for the inside of it god i'm being so long with this review i'm so sorry it is leather purple leather on the inside and then i've got some things in it and it's got like a satin you can see i'll just take a couple of things out it's got a satin lining there and there's a back zip pocket there for you as well um, I am going to point out, these are sunglasses, I'm going to point out for you to you what the thing is that's in this bag that I told you earlier. I was like, you know, I can't believe I have this thing. By the way, soon, see, as soon as you take little, take more out, it just slouches. I just love, it's all about the slouch for me. Inside here is something that I honestly didn't think it was going to turn out this way and it was purely because of timing. And I'll tell you what it is. I'll actually show you what it is first. And you're going to be like, really, Karen, you've got that too? The mama has the baby, which is the coin purse. So I literally have both sets. Who would have thought? I know for one, I never thought that I was going to have both of them. And the reason why I have both of them is because this came way earlier and it, I bought this in the summer around July, maybe something like that. This didn't even exist yet. I didn't know that this was ever going to be made again. I walked into Saks, I was looking in Fendi and they, I was looking at their bags and baguettes and I was talking to the SA and I was talking to her about this and I was telling her how much I miss it because they had some sequin bags there and she said, yeah, I know that was a good one. It came out in 20, I think she said 2019 and then it just like, everyone pre-ordered it and it just like flew off the shelf. It didn't even come into the shop. Everyone just bought it in advance um, and that was it. And I said, yeah, and I didn't even know they did that because I didn't. So she said, I do actually have the coin purse and she opened up this drawer full of coin purses and she pulled this out and she goes, it's the last one we have left. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh my God, I love it. And it comes with a strap as well. It comes with a chain strap. I love this little thing and I bought it because it was like an homage to not being able to get the this ever. Because I just thought, I don't know if they'll ever make these again. And I said that to her and she said that too at the time because she didn't know. And I said to her, well, you know what? I'll just get a piece of it. At least I've got this so I can console myself and say, I've got a part of that bag. It doesn't matter if it's not, you know, the actual baguette. At least I got this to comfort myself with. And I've loved using this thing because it's so adorable. It's literally a disco ball in any of my bags that I put this in. Any shop I go into when I open it and I go to pay for something, they always comment on this because it's so pretty. And I also wear it sometimes, I actually wear it as like a little bag. So I'll actually have the chain strap on it and I'll just wear it like crossbody across like any of my bags. Another thing I'll do is I'll attach it to a belt loop because it's got the, the loop at the back. And another way that I've worn it is if I've got like a belt that goes over like a crossed blazer and I'll just attach it to this. So it's just like hanging like that. I'll have my normal bag like on my side. But this is just like part of the outfit when I have this. So it's been very, very, very useful and functional despite it being so small. And I usually just carry like business cards, my credit cards in here and I love it. So I just was happy, happy as a lamb with just having this. Fast forward to December and then this happens. So now I have both. So never thought it would happen but it's worked out that now i have two pieces and by the way the essay when he saw me with this at fendi in paris he attached it to this he goes look see you could wear it together and i was looking at him going um no. i'll just continue with the inside of it i'll take everything out didn't have too much in there i'll show you what it holds as well so this is it completely empty and it's a satin lining with the back zip pocket like i said goes all the way so it's a nice decent size so it's a good um bag if you if you don't carry too much which is me i don't really carry too too much generally speaking depending on what kind of day it is um, and this is it when it's completely empty usually it kind of slouches when there's things in it and 
that is it really i can't really say anything else um, i will show you what it typically fits inside so i'm going to go and put what would i normally carry i'd normally carry my phone so this is a 13 pro max so that is in there um oh obviously yes my money so <laughs> i put this in honestly i've yet to have that day but it will happen where this goes is out with me and i pull this out in the shop it's gonna be very interesting actually no it did happen tell a lie what am i saying we were in paris and um after i got this bag i hit the ground running and was wearing it and i was in a shop you know with this and i was buying something it was a candle yeah it was a candle and i opened this and pulled this out first off he's like where did you get this bag or when because you know it's so new and then when i pulled this out as well that was just that was it they lost it so that fits inside um what would i typically next my vlogging camera i have a sony camera right here so let's see if that fits there you go so that is in there and those are and then i'll put my keys like my car keys so that would just fit in so that would be a typical carrying contents for karen so that is it um if i wanted to put sunglasses in here's a case let's see if it fits that's usually the real test isn't it and that does sit nicely on top right there and then close it and it's pretty good so that works out pretty well so that's a typical Karen content in the Fendi baguette and it works absolutely fine. And there is room to put a little bit more because it's got all that slouch still and it's quite soft. That means to me that there's room still to put more things in it. But I like it just like this and it's because of the weight of it, it's starting to do that slouch, which I love. But apart from that, that is, it is great. Um, the pros of this is, in my opinion, it's stunning. Other people will think no, but it doesn't matter. This everything, everything is very subjective, isn't it? It's a beautiful bag. It's surprisingly versatile, considering the color makes it so, because it's such a deep, rich, jewel tone color. It just goes with so much in my wardrobe, because I love, as you know, jewel tones. That is, that is literally what I love the most. And because it is also a jewel tone, it's, beautiful violet color with a, a running through it with that bluey undertone it is just jaw-dropping and some of you have texted me or messaged me on instagram to say that you have also managed to pick up one of these as well um, and you've, you've even sent me a couple of pictures showing me and i just can't wait to enjoy wearing it another pro with this bag is the fact that it has a detachable longer strap now that makes it way more versatile like i showed you earlier just being able to wear it across the body long on one shoulder i love that about it as well or just obviously just carry it like this that is a massive pro and just overall just like oh my god look at that bag it's just such a statement and you just don't see anything like this um fendi makes these in different colors so it's not just in the purple it also comes in black in sequins it comes in gold it comes in the pink sequin and it also comes in this what's how do you describe it i think it's called like a transparent lucite white slight pink undertone almost like fish scales like it comes in that as well so but obviously i just went for what my heart wanted which was this one from so long ago so i'm so glad that i have it i know that in a new series of and just like that she's resurrected this bag and she's walking around carrying it but it's just so great to be able to have it and i think it's just the satisfaction of a whole story of just waiting for so long and to get it again cons i think it's just being for me i don't even have any but if i had to nitpick and find something i would say that just be careful of these because the sequins come in different shapes and sizes i can just imagine if you're doing something and you go that way they'll all raise up like fish scales so and you want to kind of keep them i think just like that but they do move see like that they all they all move so you can see that it's a very like flexible sort of bag and like play with it a little bit if that makes any sense but so i would say that's a con for it um another con i don't know i'm literally trying to find a con for this bag and that's a good sign it just it's just that i think that just being very careful with that because of its design because it's got all of these but apart from that that is really it 
the weight of the bag is light when it doesn't have anything in it. It is a super lightweight bag, so that's a that's a pro. But that is really it. I love the fact that it's got that surprising gold interior flash inside in satin. I think that's a nice touch. And the rest of this is the leather up here. But yeah, that is it. I can't think of anything else I want to say. Um, the way I style it is super casual. That is just my style anyway. What I'm wearing right now, I would definitely just rock this, 100%. I actually love the way it looks with what I'm wearing. This to me straddles perfectly between day and night in my wardrobe. I've always loved wearing sequins during the day and wearing things that are supposed to be night, certain things during the day and vice versa. And this truly walks the walk of being able to wear it both ways. I am not afraid to wear this during the day. In fact, during the day was the only way I was thinking of wearing this, but I have also gone out for evenings and worn it as well, and it's perfect. Again, I usually kind of dress fairly casual, but still, it's just the fact that it works both ways. I love that. I'll insert pictures now showing you how I was wearing it in Paris with my gray men's coat, the vintage coat. I love the way it looks um, with that and just a pair of like chunky boots. Very, very simple, but just, oh, just this just makes the whole look look chic and fun. For me and then i've also worn it i'm not sure if this is on my instagram yet i think by the time this video goes up it probably will be uh, my instagram is karen britchett by the way same name hello if you're new by the way hi sorry god i'm so bad at these youtube videos sometimes it's ridiculous i can't believe it after all these years but um yeah hi if you are new welcome because i think you know a lot of times when you do bag reviews sometimes it attracts people who've never seen your channel before but um, these are the kind of videos I do, not just bags, but also just showing you like things on style and mixing thrift and men's and women's wear. I love doing stuff like that, high and low price points. That's my jam. But what was I originally saying? Yeah, and here's also a picture of me wearing it with um, a long dark green emerald wool coat. I call it my Darth Vader coat because it's so long. So I wore it with that and I just loved that mix together. So that is, gives you an idea of how I've been rocking this during the winter. And I think wearing this during the winter is such a good time to do, to wear this because it just is such a surprise and it just is a beautiful surprise to wear. New York is very cold, but it's bright and sunny. So it's nice that this, when this hits the sun, it just, it just ping, ping, ping. Do you know what I mean? It just glistens. It just pang. What is pang? It just sparkles, that's the word, it sparkles. And I love that about it. I'm done. I don't think there's anything else I could say about it. I'm very, 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 very thankful that Michael got this for me. Check your local Fendi boutiques if any of you are you know, looking to have this bag or check pre-loved websites. Although I find that the markup, especially on this one, is ridiculously high for the price. Speaking of price, um, I think this retails, what does this retail in the US? I actually know the retail price and I'm going to tell you. I think it's, it's very, very high. It's, um, it's re regardless, it's a high price anyway. Okay, I couldn't find the price on my phone, but I'll leave it on the screen here on what it costs in the US. Um, but I know that in Paris where we got it, it's honestly roughly give or take about a grand to, to no, almost two grand less, something thereabouts for what um, you know he paid for it. So it's definitely a, a big saving, especially when you get the tax refund as well, when you come back out, when you leave, um, leave France. So it's obviously, this is a luxury item and it is a dream, dream, dream gift for me. And I can finally close the book on wanting this bag. It is truly the most, desired thing I've wanted and it's probably the now most special thing that I own. Hands down out of everything that you've seen on my YouTube channel, as far as like things are concerned, talking about bags and accessories and stuff, it's now this one. If there was a fire, you know I'm gonna say, and you had to take, in terms of bags, like your top four or five bags, I would grab this one first. I mean it, even yes, yes, above, and Hermes, I would actually grab this because it's not about the value of the bag, although it should be when I think about it, so that would be next. But it's about the specialness, the 
the wanting it for so long and that's what it is for me with this one so that is my really truly Karen version of a review of the Fendi baguette sequin bag in purple the one that we all know about from Sex in the City stunning absolutely stunning and I can't wait to just get my teeth and just wearing it for the rest of this winter and also in the spring and in the summer it's a universal it's so weird because I don't own any purple things but this I wore this little thing before this came into my life I wore this from July in the summer all last year I was wearing this thing I don't think I was showing it too much I was showing it a little bit on my Instagram but not too much but I was wearing it so often and I would often just wear it over my dresses so I'd add, I'd add the long strap that it comes with and I'll just wear it crossbody over my little dresses and it was adorable and even when I'm shooting street style I'll just wear this crossbody um, with its long strap long detachable chain strap and I'll just put my business cards in it and I'll just hand them out as I'm you know talking to people so it's been really really handy to use in different ways even though it's so small it's it's just a, oh it's oh it's so good and to be able to have this now is just it's mission complete it's like okay I'm done um, but yeah, that is it. That is my lot. Um, I'm sorry I rambled a lot. I always waffle and I'm sorry I'm a waffler. But ugh, any questions you've got, leave them in the description below. And that is really it. Thumbs up this video and um, I will see you for next week Friday and I will be back to my usual like styling videos and fashion videos and those kind of things but this not that this isn't a fashion video but this is like a such a specific video um, I know I've done one before which was on my Loewe bags which are literally to the left and right of me the tan and the stone blue one which is over there behind with the behind the silver boots and I know that you lot loved when I did those like comparison videos talking about the Loewe the functionality of it what fits inside those videos are very very popular so I thought let me just do another one and every now and again I like to drop one in on my channel and I thought I would do it on this bag since it's something that I just recently got um, and I hope that that helps you so that is it my loves I'm gonna go I will see you next Friday take care see you on Instagram and TikTok Bye.